Hello? Hello. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Yes, child. Let us see who is the child. By the way, what, what the word the child mean? Why don't you have life? What, 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 you know, I mean, what, what, what the word the child mean? Why don't you have life? No, what is the age of a child? Listen, why don't you have life? I have life. Who told you I don't? Where is the life? I don't find it. You don't find it? No. Mm. Do Muhammad have life? Do Muhammad have a life when he marry a child? She is six years old. Can you, can you tell us who was the Bob who circumcised your God? Hmm. Who is the one who circumcised my God? That's a good question. Who is I challenge the... you not to change the topic. Are you willing to promise me you will not change the topic? No, no. You know who who the, who that was? No, you tell me. Do you know? May I ask you? You are the Christian. I don't know. Do you know his name? But I you know. Don't wonder, you don't wonder where this uh, little uh, meat is from your God? Mm. Do you know that where Allah? Okay, is... hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard of a God himself? He is circumcised. Listen, listen. What's the point that me and you talk alone? Well, I want the audience so I can. Yeah, the audience are listening. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. They are listening. Is it true that your God Allah is the one who cut the penis of Muhammad? Who? Allah Himself is the one who did circumcision to Muhammad. No, no. Who was the one who circumcised your God? I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm saying to you. I did not know. You tell me now. Is it true that your God is circumcised? Yes, it's true. And. Huh? Oh, you also circumcised, but this is circumcised as a human being, as a human being. No, yes, he, he we, we, which means he is, he is a nature of a human being. This is why circumcision happened to everybody who is a uh, born of a Jew. But God, so, nobody can circumcise him. So now, is it true? Is it true that your God Allah he circumcised Muhammad? <clears throat> same time, same time, isn't it Allah who said that Allah he circumcised Jesus? We have a switch button. He can you. Why you don't want to answer? Is it true that Allah He circumcised Jesus? Do he have a switch button? He did Allah did Allah circumcise Jesus? I'm asking you, what kind of Allah you have? He is the one who circumcised you. So you ask me, who is the one who circumcised my God? The Quran says it is Allah. It is Allah. Yes. Chapter uh, three, verse number fifty-five. Read it. Where? Chapter 3, verse number 55. Chapter 3. Hmm. Reclaim, reclaim. Hmm. And you can call a friend if you want. You are the one who opened the topic. I hope you will not change it now. 3.55. Hmm. Okay. Where... Hmm. Read it for us, and where does it say that God circumcised him? It says, "It called Allah who is Isa, and he was a and he was a prophet, What the tohur? What is a tohur? Tell us. What the word mutahir mean? You, you are the teacher. Tell us. Okay, mutahir means circumcised. Mutahir. Hmm. Mutahir means circumcised. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. Okay, it's not my fault. It says if you are an ignorant like your God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. When said Allah or Isa hmm. will take you hmm. and raise you to myself and purify you. Is this the word and purify you? Yeah, purify you. What is the purification the, in Arabic? Mutahiruka. What is the tohur? Is circumcision. What to what 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 to her nihuka? Mutahiruka, mm, he is going to do it to him. Allah will do it to, to, to Isa. What Allah will do, he will do to Hur. What is to, how he can do to Hur to him? You know, I can show you that you are lying. Mm. You know how? Show me. Okay, go to your own book, Luke chapter 2, verse 23. Mm. Okay. Okay, go there. Okay, you go there. No problem. No, you you show to your audience. Okay, no problem. What about it? Okay, audience. tell us, tell us. Look, twenty three. Okay, and hmm? and what does it say? You tell me what it says. Tell me. Go ahead. I want everybody to be witness. He is taking what Luke is saying against the Quran. Hmm. So you don't believe the Quran, and you are saying to me, I'm lying. Which means by saying to you that Allah is the one who circumcised Isa, 
You said I'm lying, which means the Quran is lying. That's wonderful. Okay, read for us, Luke. No, that is that is what you want to believe. That's what no, I did not believe that. I said I don't believe that's Allah. He even get, can, I don't even right. even believe that Allah can even get close to Isa or Jesus. Now you show me. You are the one who said to me, I want to prove to you that you are a liar. The Quran says, you see, the Muslim they give a first translation says, I will clear thee. Clear thee, it doesn't say that. It says, Mutahiruka. Luke chapter 2, verse hmm. 21. There is your answer. Okay, what it says? Read, then you can see how you, how you are lying. Hmm. You are going against your own book. No, I'm not. What, I'm, what I, am, I am not. I am not. I'm just making fun of you. You are the one who said to me, what kind of God he can be circumcised? I said to you, what kind of God he circumcised? <laughs> you, are, you are funny. You know, you are against your own. Why I am funny? You tell me. It's when he was eight days old, mm. it was time to circumcise the child. Okay. So after the eight day, your book is saying, after the eight day, mm. he was circumcised. Mm. And? <laughs> and? So? That means that mean you, you are against your own book? No, I am just showing you your ignorance. I'm saying I agreed from you with the beginning. I said yes, he's, he was circumcised as by, by the flesh, born of a, of, of a Jewish family. He do circumcision, they do circumcision for their children. As simple as that. Now I'm asking you, does the Quran say that Allah is the one who does circumcision to Isa? Yes or no? No. So the Quran is lying. Okay, question. In the front of everybody, in the front of everybody, I will give you 10,000 years to show me how, when did your prophet Muhammad circumcise? Yes, he was circumcised. Can you show me the reference? I don't have to show you the reference. Why do you don't mean you don't have to show me? I don't have to show me. I don't have to talk to you. Why? Because you, you know you are a coward. What do you mean you don't have to show me? Why you don't show me? You already know. I don't have no, to I do not know. know. No, I do not know. Muhammad never been circumcised by anyone. Muhammad is a hypocrite. Show me where he been circumcised. As long as circumcision is a must in Islam, why your prophet was not circumcised? <laughs> What? You know that he was circumcised. Okay, show me, show me. I know, I know, guys. I know, no, I do not know. He never happened. I say myself, I say in front of everybody, as I know, Muhammad never gets circumcised. Show me. Go ahead. Silence me. Show me. I don't have to show you. you know no, and then shut up. Don't call me again. You know Either you show me. You are the one who opened the topic. We have to finish it. Jesus, as a person born of a Jewish family, he got circumcision when he's a child and you show me the reference okay no problem i'm asking you can you show me equal reference about muhammad being circumcised i showed you that allah he circumcised jesus according to the quran now i want you to show me where allah where in the hadith where in the stories of muhammad being circumcised otherwise muhammad is a is a najis because circumcision yeah. is a must in islam why because this is tahara he follow he followed the prophets because the prophet did it he had hmm. done it okay no problem what is the prophet did it show me he followed the teaching of abraham where is the prophet he did it show me you can read that where 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 show me show me don't tell me we can read that uh, told me where 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 stop playing games where where we can find that this has happened Listen, you can read that the prophet. I can read, I can read where I can read where. Stop repeating yourself. You know, everybody is laughing at you. You are like the chromosome now, Mr. Chromosome. Where we can find that your prophet this circumcision. Your prophet he claimed that he is following the steps of the Jews. He do circumcision. So Jesus is born of a Jewish family, and you are the one who mentioned to us and quote the verses from the Bible. Thank you very much. Can you show me where your prophet did the same exactly as Isa? If Isa was a Muslim, Muhammad was a Muslim. Why Isa do circumcision? Muhammad, you don't. Who say he don't? Don't show me then. Do I have to search for the hadith? Yes, you have to. Why not? Why you are a, you are a pro to find hadith? You can no, uh, because I could not find it. Here we go. I give up. You you tell me you are the Muslim. I'm not a Abdul. This is your lifestyle. You only find hadith. There's My friend, no, I cannot find this hadith. There's no such a thing. I never heard of it. Show me, prove me wrong. I want to see your prophet at the age of 40, somebody holding his penis and cutting it off. Show me the hadith. Yeah, I can show you. Okay. Okay, but you have to, you have to understand one thing, okay? Hmm. One thing you have to understand. All right. That everything the Prophet Abraham did and mm. everything 
what what uh, uh, Angel Jibril said mm. was an inspiration, and he followed everything that Prophet Ibrahim did. No problem. Let us finish first. So, the, the, so, the, the so, let us let us finish first. Who, who is the man who cut the penis of Muhammad at the age of forty or after that? Let us see who is that. Give me the reference. Show you. Let me show you. <clears throat> Adam, I'm not going to hold you for ten hours. I will give you ten thousand years to show me the reference. Is that fine? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I'm going to wait for you next uh, 10,000 years. Okay, let me call you back. Let me find that I call you okay, back. Okay, but if, if if you are going, if you will call me back only when you find this, that's me. Will you want to call me back? I will call you back. I, I will not let okay. you know. No, I'm asking you, are you going to find me where he, you will call me back to show me yes, that Muhammad? I, I, will, I will give you the hadith where it says he was circumcised. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Okay, you can talk with some some uh, some other meanwhile. Do you promise me by the by uh, you swear by the fake before you go, you will call me back to show it. I swear by Allah, who is your God and Jesus. Why God, you don't swear but... by the fake? <laughs> okay, okay, he was searching in Google trying to find. <laughs> okay, you talk about the circumcision. Let us talk about circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us see what happened. Who is a Muslim wanna call us? Let us see. We have a we have Abdul, he called us. Let's see this Abdul. Maybe he can do better. Who is Abdul? He think he knew better. I say Islam is very funny and very silly. Muslims they have big mouth, but they cannot even hold their mouth for what they said a second ago. All of us we knew that the Christians believed God he became a man he born in the flesh of a human being and he is born of a Jewish family and the tradition is to circumcise the children's in certain age so now we have another problem who is the one who this some circumcised Muhammad either you prove to me that he is he did that, that or had otherwise he you Muslims are liars. You claim that he is following tradition of Abraham. The guy he just said to me, Muhammad, he followed tradition of Abraham. So obviously he did. Okay. If you are claiming that this is Abraham tradition, then show me where Muhammad did it. Otherwise, Muhammad is a false man. I will give you I will give you ten thousand years to give me the reference. Twelve thousand years. I will ask you actually I advise you to call all the chromosome to help you now do we have any Muslim Allah know nothing he understand nothing he hold no information nothing legitimate stupid teaching Quran full of errors and mistakes scientific errors historic errors Arabic error, grammar error. I mean, your God Allah is not even a Fagani boy who learn Arabic. And a Fagani boy who learn Arabic is better than Allah. 
I never heard of a stupid God like this. Who is the Muslim would like to call us? Maybe, maybe a Muslim is needed. Anyone? Muhammad is nothing but a copy paste person. He learned things, stupid things. He liked it, he put it in the Quran. Flying carpet, genie in the ball, Suleiman is speaking to the ants, legion of the Jews, anything around him, anything walk around him, Muhammad, he captured it, he put it in his book. And he don't care if it's stupid or smart because he was a man between a bunch of ignorant Actually, even we do know we have to be fair. Even the Arab they said to Muhammad, "This is nothing but the fairy tales of the of the of the ancients." So between them, there was a smart people. If you go in the Quran, you will find that the Quran full of verses the Arab said to Muhammad, "This is nothing but the fairy tales of the old of the ancient tales of the ancient." Tales of what? Of the ancient. Let us change the setting so we can show you. All right. And we switch here to Arabic. Second. All right. Now we search for. Tales of the ancient. This is what translation of who? Uh, Yusuf Ali. So why it's not coming? We search for the same sentence he have in his. Uh, that's funny. The search engine is horrible. I'm just trying to show you the collection in English. Ah, it did not change. Hold on. Let us. We need to change it. All right. Now it's going to work. Read with me. All those verses in the Quran, the Arab, they keep saying to Muhammad, this is nothing but the fairy tale of the ancient. The Muslim, they say to us that the Arab were amazed. In fact, the Arab, they were amused. They were funny, laughing at Muhammad. Such a thing have been promised to us by our fathers. Yes, Abdul. Yes, child. Wait one second. I will mute you on YouTube. Hmm. Hmm. You're calling your prophet a child? Did you find the hadith your prophet gets circumcised? Well, I, I will give you the I will give you the link and then you can put it on the screen so okay. everybody can see. All right, give me the link. I'm waiting. Yes. I cannot wait. Before yes. you give it to yes. me, yes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you 100% yes. that your link doesn't say that. And everybody will laugh at you. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? Your link doesn't say that? Hmm. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Here we go. Okay. Was the prophet, peace be upon him, born circumcised? The answer. What is the answer? Go ahead. Read, read it. Read no, it. read, read with me. They are saying they didn't know. There are different yes. opinions in this matter. Where is the answer? Yes, what is the opinion? Uh, he was born circumcised. Who in the world gonna believe such a garbage? Jibreel circumcised him. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> when he opened his chest, his grandfather show me show me the difference where he's circumcised. There's no, no, no read, read. There, is, there is no all of them. I know I know all of this. There's nowhere it says he was circumcised. Stop saying to me, read, read. All what they are saying to you, the Arab they used to circumcise. Some they say it was Jibreel circumcised him. Some they say Allah circumcised him, but there is no reference. Show me where it says Muhammad was circumcised. Please go ahead. So you didn't know that this was a custom of all of the Arabs. Abdul, what customs? Hold on, hold on. Show me where it says he was circumcised. What custom? Show me where it says Muhammad was circumcised. 
There is no need for a report when no, there is a need. There is no need. How how come in the Bible it says that Isa he was circumcised, but there is nowhere in your Islamic religion says Muhammad was circumcised. So you you went in Google, you searched for 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 the last thirty minutes, and now you come to me says there is many opinion, and none of them can be supported. But it's there. It's there. It's there what? It's there what? Did okay. you see it says that Jibreel circumcised him? Okay, hold on, hold on. If you are saying to me that the Arab, they do circumcise their children. There's no proof of that. Secondly, that's mean the Arab are not pagans as you claim because where they got this from? Second, number three, why you are saying in the same page, there's an opinion that Jibreel is the one circumcised him. Does it say that? So it cannot be, it, it cannot be both. And what about his born circumcised? So you must have, you do not know even he was circumcised or not. No, it, this is the three opinion. What opinion? None of them has given me anything. They are, there is three opinion because they do not know. <laughs> if they are, yes, if they yes, know, yes, Abdul, yes, listen. Yes, if they knew, yes, if they knew, they will not have a three opinion. Abdul, are you are you smart or you are not, child? Listen, child, child, listen, child. Mm. My grandfather Abdul Al Muttalib mm. circumcised him on the seventh day. This is the opinion. It's where it says? Where it says? Where where is the story? Read it. Where where is the story? Where is the story? Where is the hadith? Show me the reference where it says you are saying to me, read it. Where, where, where it says that that he did circumcise him. I sent you, I sent you on Skype. Why why are you not looking? I'm, I'm I have it in the screen. I have it in the screen. Ibn Al Adam said it says in some reports that his grandfather Abdullah Muttalib circumcised him. It says in some reports, show us the hadith. Is it authentic? Is it true? This is why this is just a fairy tale story. There's no report of anything. You know, this is a custom of the Arab. Abdul, show me reference. If I show you now, if, uh, someone says, someone says, shouldn't we go and see this is who is the one who said, aren't you the one who said, do you know the science of the hadith? Okay, show me the hadith coming from where? There's no hadith. I they are saying they are making opinion Abdul they are making opinion in the same website you gave me there is nobody can confirm anything Muhammad actually he never been circumcised where is your proof that okay show me a hadith it says the Prophet was circumcised but where is your proof because there's never mention obviously he's not otherwise he should be mentioned a man he became a prophet he should be mentioned okay let me ask you if 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 the Arab they are circumcised in any way why Muhammad need to tell them circumcised they are circumcised in any way. You know why? Because hmm. he was a universal messenger to the people. Ah, universal messenger. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. This, this, this is the difference with with Jesus and him. Mm -hmm. Jesus was for the truth. Muhammad was for the. Universe. Okay, hold on. So why your Quran saying that Allah He sent Muhammad as a messenger for the 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 little village of Mecca and what is around it? Fair. Here we go. Read it. Chapter 47, Chapter 6. Let's read the first one first. It says, This is a book which we said we have sent. Bringing blessing and confirming the revelation which come before thee So you can warn the mother of the city and what is around it. But by the way translation is false Um Qura Qura is a village. You know that so Qura is a village and Muhammad was sent as a messenger for to warn people who they are living around his village His village and what is around it. It's in front of you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah Why don't you read the other what other okay? You know, we are reading other are you saying to me there is a contradiction? In chapter 40, 40, in chapter 42, look what it says. It says, thus we have sent inspiration in to thee in Arabic. So that, that mm -hmm. you might, you might warn the mother of the, the, the villages and what is around it. So it is in Arabic to warn people who speak Arabic in Mecca and around it. Do people, do people in, uh, do people in the Afghanistan speak Arabic? No, but what, what, what? Why do you make this that it's only for the Arab? Because well, here we go. I, I'm going to give you another proof. Let's see. You want to see something very, very, uh, very crazy? Here we go. Isn't it the Quran says we never send a messenger except in the language of his, his, uh, in the tongue of his people? 
Yes. Okay. So Allah will never will never send any messenger. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Chapter fourteen, verse number four. The Quran says, "We never send a messenger except in the tongue of His people." So Allah will never send anyone to anyone unless He speak the language of the people and He is from the people. So He cannot be a messenger for Pakistan or India or America or Europe or even Egypt or even Morocco because He don't speak the language of those people. We never send. We never send. Never, never. Allah never send. Why? He make it clear so they might understand. Why don't you read the verse when he say, "He, yeah, I have sent you as a universal message." Where it says that? Where it says that? Show me. Give me the verse so we can love together. Just to show you that you not know uh, your Quran. Okay, I will show you. Mm. Guys, don't forget to invite your friends. We have Abdul life on us. This is a real Abdul, by the way. This is real. It's not like uh, custom made or something. And he have a lot of knowledge, as you see. I like it when the website you send me, it says that Jibreel circumcised him. <laughs> I want your Jibreel to circumcise me too. Did you find it? Are you searching radio station now? You can give some comments on some Quranic words. Hmm? What are you searching? This, this is what he must have found. Well deserved rest. This guy is, sure. is this guy is trying to find where it says that from the that video. <laughs> No, I, I can Arabic. But you <laughs> listen. Listen. <laughs> okay. Can you understand what I say? Nah. Which verse? Which verse? Naka. Huh? Ma arsenaka. Illa kafatan li nasi. Bashirun wa nadhirun. Walakin nastra nasi la yalamun. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Okay. Kafatan. Kafatan to who? The people of Mecca. The verse, the verse, my friend, the verse explains itself. It says we say we, we we send you to the to the people who the, the people who they are around him. It says to people of around uh, Mecca and around it. Go to chapter thirty-four. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. there. Chapter thirty-four. Okay. Yes. And verse thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Let us, okay. 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 Let us see. Hmm. You said verse number eight. We have not sent you, O prophet. Verse what? What, what verse you said? Only as a universal message. What verse? What verse? What verse you said? Good to and a warner, but still the bulk of mankind do not know. Abdul, what verse you said? La la. La la. Yeah, like I, said, I have to say you one hundred times. No, tell me what verse you said because I, I'm, I'm going to show everybody how 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 ignorant you are. Three a. 38 chapter 34 verse number 38 correct okay chapter 34 verse 38 hmm. all right read with me wait wait i don't have uh... guys did he say chapter 34 verse number 38 okay <laughs> Oh, you sick or what? No, no you, I'm laughing at you. Uh, do you I'm like me to help you to find it for you? You do not know how to find the verse. You don't even know how to quote numbers. You do not know how to read the Quran. Come on, come on. What do you want to say about Well, you say to me, 34, 38, here we go. It's in the front of you. Where are the verse you are saying to me? 34, 38. Okay, so 34, 38. It doesn't say what you are saying. Let me show. Here we go. I will show everybody that I'm quoting. This is 34, and this is 38. But you understand my Arabic, yeah? That do don't tell me understand Arabic. You you, you gave me a verse. It doesn't say what you are saying. Do you want? Do you need my help? <laughs> 
to find you the verse you are talking I about. I don't know what program you are in. I, I don't have... What don't a program? What a program? What does this have to do with the program? This is Quran, my friend. This is not about the program. You understand my tongue, huh? What uh, what your tongue? Do you do you, do you speak do you speak Arabic? Arabic? You don't speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? But you didn't understand what I said. But what is the verse you are talking to? You told me thirty four verse number thirty eight. It doesn't say what you are saying. Read. Uh, and not only that, you made fun of me. You said, "Ha ha, you do not know how to find it." Ha ha ha. How many times I need to repeat for you? Ha 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 ha. But it is it is your your program. What my program? 24, 28. Huh? Here it says thirty four thirty eight. It says there thirty four thirty eight. Yes. It says where? Look, third, write down in Arabic, Wama Arsenaka, it will come, Wama Arsenaka. <laughs> okay, my friend, so, okay, so uh, read for us what the verse is saying. I will, I will put it in the screen. Did you find it? No, I cannot find it. Oh, the... hmm. By the way, when you when you quote for me this verse, I want you to be a man, and when I ask you what this verse means, you will not run away from interpretation. Okay. Hmm. Wait, I will find it for you. Really? فما أرسلناك إلا كافة للناس بشير ونذير ولكن أخطر الناس لا يعلمون. Okay, what chapter is that? Okay. Translated what I said. No, what chapter is that? What chapter is that? Like... Chapter 20. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know you're trying to get away. What, what you... got away, my, my friend? I'm just asking you what chapter is that? I opened the chapter. It doesn't say what you are saying, so I don't know what to do. Go to chapter 34, I said. I am in chapter 34. Saba, Saba. Yeah, chapter Saba. This is verse number 38. Okay. You don't Ever, find everybody it? see it in the screen. Here we go. I'm, I'm showing people in the screen. They can see it with me. This is 34, 38. I'm not making things up, Abdul. This is what you quote for me. And here we go. It's in the screen. You are quoting from a website? No, I'm quoting from my head. From your head? Yes. Uh, everybody heard you looking in the video of uh, of the dad. That was another video I looked up. Ah, okay. Hmm. So your head is messed up. Okay, now where we can find the. Wait. Do you want me to help you? Just... Do you want me to help you? Yes, help me. Okay, this is verse number 28, Abdul, not th not 38. Are you on 28? Abdul, you told me 38. Everybody heard you. Now, read it. This is your Muslim translation. It says universal. Can you find me the word universal in Arabic? We have not sent the but as a universal message. Well, where, where is the word universal? What is the word universal? Where is the word universal? Hmm. Okay, where is the word what, universal? What, what is Except to the people, to the people around you, all the people around you. What is Nasi? Nas is people. Huh? People. What is people? This is what the word Nas means. Do you want to show you? The whole people. That is no. what it Okay, means. hold on, hold on. Okay, this is the whole people. So why the other verse is saying that this is for the uh, the, the location of Ummul Qura and what is around it? Why it says for the earth? What why why in the verse? Why in the verse here it says, we send you to the ones who they are living around Mecca and to Mecca. If this is for all mankind, why it says that? Is that a contradiction? Are you saying this is a contradiction? No, it's not a contradiction. So explain here we go. It says it's mentioned Mecca and it mentioned what is around it. 
Now, are we around Mecca? I live in America. I am around Mecca. No, someone live in Australia. Is he around Mecca? No, is the one who live live in Canada around Mecca? No. So how we can be? How he is sent in Arabic, so they might understand for those who live in Mecca and what around Mecca. So he is saying, I send you to the people of Mecca. There is nowhere it says universal. Here in front of you, I showed you. Verse okay, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. Are you saying to me there's a contradiction? Because the Quran says, whenever I send the messenger, unless in the he speak the tongue of his people, here we go. You want to speak about contradiction, Abdul? Here we go, Abdul. Here we go. Does it say that we send only messengers in the tongue of his people? Do you see it? Only. That's it. Why? So you might understand. Allah will never send a messenger unless he speak the language of the people and he is from the people not only speak the language So it's not enough to speak the language. You have to be from them read it We never 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 that's it never so if you want to say to me Muhammad was sent to all mankind Then this verse is wrong Listen with you this this verse, you know what it's talking about. Mm, well, tell me what is it talking about? That God have sent messenger to all nations Mm. Before, before, before Muhammad, mm. everyone have get the message that God is one. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. this is not this is not a contradiction. You in your head, you mm. are so developed. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't, you are like a devil. You in your head, you think everything is is against. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Uh -huh. I showed you this verse. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. 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 Abdul, Mr. Abdul. May I respect to you? You are very smart, brother. It says there we never send a messenger. We never send a messenger. You said this is before Muhammad. It says now until now he's speaking in the time of Muhammad. Never, never, never sent a messenger except speaking the tongue of his people to his people. Okay, so Allah will not send a messenger to any nation unless he speak the, 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 the tongue and the language. Do Muhammad speak Japanese? No, okay. This verse saying we never sent and we will not send any messenger unless he speak Japanese. And he have to be Japanese. We will never send to the Jews a messenger unless he is a Jew and he speak the Jewish language. We will never send someone to China unless he is from China and he speak Chinese. India have like 400 languages. So in order for Allah to send messengers to India, he have to send like 400 uh, 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 messenger and all of them have to be from the same group, from the same ethnic uh, and speak Allah, the same language. Allah, Allah, Allah. Well, uh, you, you, uh, you, you know, I don't know what's your what is in your mind. Is it full of shit or what? You don't understand. Allah is holy saying, shit, holy shit. Listen, listen I heard this full of the Quran. Listen. Uh -huh. He has sent messenger hmm. to all of the nations, to our Japanese, to the Japanese people, to the Chinese people. Do you know? Do you know the name of the Chinese the Chinese messenger? No, I don't know. Okay. Do you know the name the Japanese messenger? One hundred twenty-four thousand. We don't know who all of them were. Mm, we do not know their names. One hundred twenty-four thousand guys. Okay. Now let me see. Let me ask you. As long as long you agree, hold on. Everybody heard you. As long you agree that Allah He sent one hundred twenty-four thousand messenger, and all of them they have to speak the language of the people. That's mean we have one hundred twenty-four thousand language in this earth, and we have twenty one one thousand twenty-four thousand nation. But I will let that go. Here, the verse confirming that we never sent. We will never ever ever send unless he is a friend of the people is speaking the language of the people If you don't like the translation, I can change it for you. What translation you like? If you like me to show you the interpretation, I will show you interpretation my friend What do you like? It is so clear. It's so clear saying That Allah never sent and will never send any messenger unless he is a speaking from the tongue of his people he have to be of his fork. You see the word here. This is this is your Muslim funny Abdul translation. I like it. It says, "Save, save with the language of his fork." So he have to be sent from the fork to the fork and speak the language of those four. Where, where is this uh, chapter and verse? This is a uh, chapter fourteen, verse number four. Chapter 14, verse 4. Yes, 4. Okay. 4. Mm. Yes. Wait. Yes, he has sent mm. messengers to the people who speak their mother tongue. Mm. 
Okay, did Muhammad speak the mother tongue of the Pakistani? No, he speak Arabic. Okay, so how he but can be a messenger for the Pakistani? It was a universal message. How he can be to be a universal? Have to speak all the language of the world at the same time. He have to be one of them. No, it's different when a universal messenger come. It's one. one Abdul, he said, we never send. We never send. Who? When he said that, he said that in the time of Muhammad. We never send. Huh? He said in the time of Muhammad, we never send. This is a verse Muhammad received in the time in, in his lifetime, not before. So we never send any messenger except he is except? speaking the language of his own people. So he have to be from the people speaking the language of his own people. Mm. Okay. So do Muhammad speak Chinese? No. Do Muhammad speak Japanese? No. Muhammad even do not know how to write his own language as according to Muslims. You know why? Let me ask. Let me ask you. Is, is is Musa is Musa a messenger for the Jews only according to Islam? Yes, in his time he was only for the uh, the Jews in that particular thing. How you know? Because it. How do I know? Okay, you, so you are saying to me. Okay, let us let us make it clear. This message, this this verse, apply for for Musa's correct? Does it apply for Musa's that he was sent only to the Jews? Yes. Hmm. So the Quran did not say that Allah he sent Musa to the Pharaoh. He was sent to say to Pharaoh to release his people, not to no, no, uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> uh, Chapter wrong? twenty-nine, verse number thirty-nine. It says that Allah he sent uh, uh, to the Pharaoh. Musa's and he showed them his miracle, but they refused to accept Islam. Chapter 29, verse uh, 39, as I remember. Okay, what does okay. It mean? So, how you just say to me that Musa was sent only to the Jews? What does it say there? What, 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 what? I like it when you say what, what, what. You look like you have a little electricity here. It says there, let me find mm -hmm. you the verses. <clears throat> Allah, you are a funny guy, you know. Mm, for sure, yeah. sure. Here we go. Listen, is 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 Jesus the same God as uh, Moses talked with? Uh, okay. Huh? Read with me. This is the, uh, the all this is speaking about. Moses is speaking to uh, to uh, to the Pharaoh and asking him to way. to accept his God. So Moses, yeah. according to the Quran. Moses and Aaron, not only Moses, Moses and his brother Harun, both they invited mm. the Pharaoh to accept Allah, but he refused. Where, where he said, mm. which thirty-nine? Well, you can hey, go go to chapter twenty-nine, verse number thirty-nine, if you want. Yes, which I am thirty-nine. Which where, where does it say? Okay, let me show you. We go to 29 and then we go to verse number 39. <clears throat> Do you see my screen? I see. All right. Listen. Listen, listen. It's in front of you. Read it. Listen. Listen. <laughs> So you are getting your prophet busted again. Your prophet was a liar. Well, your prophet, he said, will never send a messenger except to speak in the tongue of the people, and he have to be from the people. So how he sent him to Pharaoh? You are a liar, my prophet. Never well, here we go. You are saying to us only Muhammad was a universal prophet. When we see that Moses, he was sent to the nations, which is not his nation. What 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 you mean with this? I don't understand. Where did it say he come to Pharaoh to tell him? Uh, My friend, he, guys, did you hear this? The guy he don't understand his Quran. He doesn't understand what this is mean. Are you telling me you are a Muslim, not me? Read it. Came unto them with clear proofs of Allah's mm. uh, punishment, but they were boastful in the land mm. and they were not winners in the race mm. so what 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 does this have to do that he said come and join me he come to invite them to worship allah they refused to worship allah abdul 
yes, to worship Allah, but he didn't say, come, I am your messenger. Uh, so if, if, if uh, what do you mean, come here? He, he is a messenger from Allah. Allah, he sent them to him. <laughs> <laughs> Allah, Allah, He sent them, and this is different verse too. This is a different verse, okay? I give you one hundred places. Abdul, 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 in the front of you, hmm? you see here, those are the messenger of Allah. He sent them to the Pharaoh, and Moses he spoke to them, and the the Pharaoh he refused to accept Islam. So you want you say to me? That we Muslims, you know, uh, the, the Quran uh, speak only about Muhammad as the messenger uh, for universe. It doesn't say any of that anywhere. It says only for Mecca and around it. Same time, we uh, see that Moses he Ramaz, was sent to the Pharaoh. Ramaz, yeah, but I show you what it says. The Anas and Kafa is, is okay. But the Quran explains different verse. Okay, okay. But the Quran says to us, you are saying to me, this is your false translation. It says to Kafa to Linnas, not Nasi Kafa, Kafa Linnas. We send you what is enough for the people to understand. What, what does that mean? What, what oh, it says in the front of us, we never here we go. The people of Makan were around it. And let us let us let us finish this. I, I will let you say Muhammad was universal prophet, universal, universal. I will go with you. Let us finish this garbage now. Muhammad, the universal prophet, how come he says stupid things? Where are you now? In which chapter is this? This is the chapter 42, verse number seven. <clears throat> 42. Hmm. So now we have a universal prophet, guys. But he is a stupid. How that can be? How your prophet says that Aaron is the sister, is the, is the brother of Mary. The universal prophet. If I ask you right now, what is the name of the father of Aaron? Do you know? The name of the father of Aaron and Moses. Let us speak about now. I have I have answered your question. Let no, you did not. Everybody is laughing. Listen. You show me that the Quran is full contradiction because one verse in the Quran saying Allah He never sent any messenger to anyone except in the tongue of his people. And Moses he went to Pharaoh and he spoke to Pharaoh and he asked him to to, to join Islam. One time in your life, be a man, okay? One time. I am the only man here, you are not. Okay, one thing you like. Let us man. see. I'm asking you now. I'm asking you. You you prove me nothing. I prove I prove a clear contradiction. How Allah He never sent the messenger except to speak the tongue of His people. His people is the is the people of the Pharaoh. Is the the people of Moses? Listen. Prove your is is the people of Moses? Are they the same people of Pharaoh? Yes or no? Either you say yes or you say no. Listen, listen. I I don't listen to stop you. Now. The answer, stop the answer. Stop saying to me. Listen, listen. I want an answer. How the Quran says Allah He sent Pharaoh, He sent Musa, Moses and his brother Aaron to to Pharaoh, but yet He says I never send a messenger except to the people who speak the tongue, and He is have to be from them. Not only He speak the tongue, He have to be from them. Yeah, for one in once in your lifetime, once in your lifetime, be a man. Hmm. I have answered all your questions. You have said, Show me this. Show you never me answer me. anything. Everybody's my witness. No, you Listen. never answer anything. You never answer anything. You show, you show me contradiction. You answer nothing. I, I, I send you. Did you now. show me? Did you show me any reference to your prophet this circumcise? Nowhere. I showed you. No, I you mean, showed me that the Arab they used to circumcise in old and in, in young age. But is that, is that mean Muhammad circumcised? Show me. Show me the story where it says he circumcised him. No, I showed you there were three three opinions that he was born. None of them says none of them he says that they saw Muhammad circumcised. Show me what it says. Even Muhammad they saw his penis and his penis was circumcised. And this was a custom in the Arab world. Well, we, we, no, it, so what the, 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 the custom, but Muhammad is the son of an infidel. Not necessarily he would do what the rest of it is doing. And there is no need for a report because he's no, you have to report. Why how come how come you quote for me about Jesus, but you cannot quote to me about Muhammad? Yes, because I show you how. So this one you did not answer. The second one I asked you, Muhammad, you said to me, Muhammad is universal prophet. I said to you, the Quran says, we never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people and he have to be from the people. Is Muhammad from Pakistan? No. Is he from Japan? No. Is he from America? No. So how he can be a messenger to them? That is a contradiction for the Quran. This is number two. No, number three, the Pharaoh was sent to, to the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, Allah, he sent him two messengers, Moses and, uh, and his brother. And none of them is an Egyptian. So Allah, he lie again. He
he make a contradiction that he never sent the messenger unless he speak the tongue of his own people to his people so they might understand so you have you gave me three contradiction now let us continue with four if you're a prophet is a prophet why he speaks stupid my prophet was the last prophet from God that's why give me the prophecy <laughs> give me a prophecy from your prophet of God how he can be a prophet but he have no prophecy you have no prophecy no give me one have you not read your book no you haven't no what do you mean my book I don't have my book my book is not with me it's an Amazon for sale now in the Jewish in the Jewish Bible the turn me eight uh, uh, oh, this is about your prophet this is about your prophet ah this is about your prophet but this is a prophecy in the Bible not his prophecy if even if this one is about your prophet as you claim you idiot that will not make your prophet a prophet because of the, the Bible there is a prophesying about someone and you claim it's about your prophet so show me the prophecy your prophet he did if I say now that I prophesy there is a donkey he is going to get a PhD okay I am the one making the prophecy so that will not make you a prophet if you are a donkey who speak I am the one who prophesied now show me your prophecy of your prophet that proved that he's a messenger okay show me the prophecy your prophet he did prophecy is somebody some something Muhammad he said and nobody knows save God show me that okay have you heard about uh... no uh, no way I, I will show you the link now no way that really Muhammad said that yeah, open the in, in Skype. Okay. <clears throat> but bef before we go to this, I don't see anything. In Second Samuel twenty four one, was the Lord tempted David, or was the Satan provoked David in First Corona? Don't don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't, change topic. don't try. Don't try to change topic. This is a contradiction. No, you know, okay. you can say whatever you want. You know, you go and go yes, there. Yes. Anyway, anyway. Okay, okay. Anyway, no. Anyway, anyway, no. Anyway, okay. What is the, what is the reference? Show me the reference. We can laugh now. You are very, yeah, very scared. Mm. Very scared. Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is a link he gave me. I'm not responsible for what is inside the link. And I hope you will not regret. Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number two, book number two, hadith number 47. Mm. I want to ask you before disclaimer do you agree with this hadith? Say yes. Which, which one? This hadith you gave me. This is the link you gave me. Yes. Okay, do you agree with it? In the. Yes, yes. Okay, you will not say after five minutes, I don't accept it. Do you promise me? Yes, this is okay. Sahih Bukhari. Okay, it's the most okay so oh, Sahih Bukhari, so it's accepted. So that's wonderful. So Sahih Bukhari, guys, is accepted. So we have no problem. So th that's, I'm, I'm really grateful that you said that. But I want to be sure, that's why I asked you, I want to be sure that you will not say in two seconds from now, this is a fabricated hadith. Do you promise me that? No, this is a Sahih Bukhari. All right. Okay. Come on, come on, read it. Okay. Let us read it. Hold on. Ah. Uh, can you read it for us, please? So, no, so you I, read it. no, no, you read it. You are the one who gave me the reference. You read, on, it. Go read ahead. it. No, 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 you read it. Read it. I, I understand read. what you are saying. Read it so we can laugh. Go ahead, read it. Uh, why are you like so childish? You are the one who gave it to us. I'm, I'm listening. Uh, read it for us. You My, uh, like Abdul, it. no, no. I want you to read it. You know better than me. I, you understand better than me, and I'm learning from you. Go ahead. I can see all the text in your screen. Mm. Wait, wait. I open from my way. Okay, open from your side. Okay. Narrated Abu Huraira. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we can we can jump from the first. It's not uh, uh, as you wish. Jump as you wish. You can jump all over. Okay, no problem. I, I can read from the beginning, so you don't think I'm. Uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. I understand the situation. It's very hard. <laughs> Nothing is hard. Islam is the truth. You okay, okay, my friend. Know. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this, this. Hmm. Silence. Okay. One day, while the Prophet was sitting in the company of some people, hmm. the angel Jibril came and asked, hmm. What is faith? Allah's Messenger وسلم, replied, Hmm. Faith is to believe in Allah, hmm. His angels, uh -huh. the meeting to Him. 
his apostle. That means all his messenger, Jesus, Moses, mm. Abraham, and so on and so on. Peace be upon them. Mm. And to live in resurrection. Mm. Then he for, for, for the ask. Mm. This is Jibril is asking him. Mm. What is his son? Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied to worship Allah mm. alone mm. and else, not Jesus, mm. not uh, Buddha. Okay. And to offer prayers perfect, perfectly mm. to pay the compulsory charity. That okay. means zakat. Mm. And to observe fast during the month of Ramadan. Mm. Then Buddha asked, what is Ihsan, perfection? Mm. Allah's messenger replied, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to worship Allah as if you see him. And if you cannot achieve this state of devotion, then you must consider, consider that he is looking at you. Mm. And he further asked Jibreel, mm. Mm. when will the hour be established? Mm. This is the prophecy. Okay. Open your, let, us take, uh, let us take one by one so we can love together. One by one. What is the first prophecy he gave? What is the first one? This is the prophecy. I know. What this is the prophecy? What is the first one? Read with me. Listen, my friend, read the first prophecy so we can love. We can, we can love. Isn't it your prophet? He said, When the slave she gave birth to her master, listen, don't speak. Listen, now. listen, it's in front of us. You are the one who gave me this, isn't you? Who gave it to me? Let me finish. What when will the hour be established? That means, okay, what is the first thing will happen? It says, When a slave lady gave birth to her master, isn't it Muhammad? His slave lady married the cop, she gave birth to, to, to his son, according to Muslims. I, where are we? What are you talking about? Wait in the front of I, you. Allah's supposed to reply. I am not in your YouTube station now. Allah's supposed to it reply. says number one, number one in the web page you gave me. Number one, mm. Mm. where is number one? <laughs> where is number one? <laughs> Allah's supposed to reply. The uh -huh. answer has no better news than the questioner. Mm. That means only Allah knows mm. when the hour will come, and this is what also Jesus. Okay, said. read the verse number one. Read the verse. Uh, read, read number one. Okay, number one. How he do not know? How the how this is stupid? How he say nobody knows? The, the, the answerer have no better than the questioner. Then he gave me the answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is this is the thing. That okay, what is number one? What is number one? That he's an angel. That's why. What? No one answered this if he's not an angel. No problem. But what is number one prophecy he said? Yeah. What is number one prophecy? But let me finish. I will come to it. Wait. <laughs> Why you don't want this? This is the topic. The topic is okay. Muhammad give him prophecy. You are quoting me for a prophecy. What is the first prophecy? Yes. Wait. Wait. Hmm. And let's say. The answer has no better knowledge than the question. That means mm. only Allah knows when the judgment day will come. Like Jesus also said, only the Father knows mm. when the hour will come. That's why he's not God. Okay, I, I continue. No, he did not say that. Yes, he said. No. But I will inform you mm. about it. Did he not say that? No, he did not say that. He said in, in the same chapter you read, he said, Jesus, he said to you when the judgment day will come. What Jesus is saying, that nobody knows, not even the Son, which means the man in the flesh. Not the man in the flesh, only God, the Father, my Father, and then he continues saying when the judgment day will come. Huh? Who is the Father? Jesus, he said, me and the Father is one. Who is the Father? Our God. And who is your God? Jesus. And who is the Holy Ghost? God. And who is the Father? Is one God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is one God. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, and you yourself, you are a body and a stupid and a human in the same time. You are a spirit. You are a spirit. You are a human, right? You have a spirit. You have a flesh. Is that correct? Yes or no? I'm one person. Yes or no? Okay. Who will go? You are saying. You are saying to me. You are one person. Allah is one person or two or three. How can how can Jesus and Father be same when they don't have same knowledge? Oh, they have the same knowledge. No, 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 no. They have the same knowledge. No, no, no. The, the Jesus, He said, everything, everything. The Father, He do. I do. Everything the father he everything I have the father gave me and what everything the father he do I do which means he's saying to them everything I say to you is from the father What does that mean my knowledge my act my uh, uh, my miracles which mean the man himself can do nothing I am NOT the man it's God in this man who speak it's God who do the miracles So me and the father is one is what he said was he not was he not the, what was he not the God? 
He is God for sure. This is God, the God, the word, the word of God. Abdul, Abdul, you are you are trying to to change the topic now. The word of God became a man as simple as that. So for us, the man, the man is a flesh. He's a human being, a flesh. It's a flesh. You know, you can kill him. You can you can you can cut his skin. He can bleed. It's a, this is a flesh of a human, but it's still this a human which is in the flesh. He is God in the same time. So he's a perfect man. He's a perfect God, and that's why you see Jesus, who is in the flesh. He can control the nature. He can make from the mud a bird as the Quran says he can make the blind see how he can do that yet he's a man how the Quran call him holy but yet he is a man how the Quran says that now he is now in heaven but yet he is a man how he can forgive sin but yet he is a man nobody can forgive sin save God now you're a prophet here he said when a slave lady gave birth to her master this is the first sign of the judgment day do you agree yes but but, but don't you think this is stupid don't you think this is a stupid Wait, before I go to this, mm. I just want to ask you what you said. Mm. Why are you why are you jumping every time you say that he make uh, the uh, the bird with his uh, with his uh, thing and all that? Why you jump away when when Quran say with God's permission? What God permission? Here we go. Did, did, did Allah give me permission to to kick his ass every day? Like just say in John five thirty, I can on myself on do nothing. Yeah, but ex I explain to you that uh, be because people they are looking at him. How this person he forgives sin, he forgives sin, he forgives sin. He not only do miracle, he forgives sin. What authority you have to forgive sin? That's what the Jews they want to kill him. So he's saying to them that I am a forgiving sin, not because of a man in front of you, because God on me. I am God. Worship me. Go go ahead. I forgive sin. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. That's what he said. So people they are looking. They see a man. Yet, be, but yet he say, "For your sin is forgiven." Can a man forgive sin? Let me ask you. Uh, Can a man forgive sin? Can Muhammad forgive your sin? No, only God why? Sin. Only God forgives sin. So when the Bible says that Jesus forgives sin, that means you just confirm to me that this is God. So stop playing games. If you want to take the Bible, you take the whole Bible. You don't take only a phrase and you try to play with it. So Jesus in the Bible, he forgives sin, and you just confirm that only God can forgive sin. Now I'm asking you why Jesus can forgive sin. Do you understand why? Listen, listen, listen. No, don't tell me listen. I am asking you why Jesus he can forgive sin. When he wants to wake up Lazarus, why did he want help from the I'm asking you why he why Jesus forgives sin? Why? Why do you say he can forgive I sin? And I don't believe in the word that the Bible is speaking about Jesus. He okay, so he, yeah, okay, okay. Let's go back to the topic now. Let's go back to the topic. Your yes, prophet, yes, yes, you yes. see, you are playing games. When we get you busted, you don't want to talk about it. Okay, no problem. No, no, now, your when prophet, he said, busted, you see, you are scared to talk about this because you're you are the one who called this for me, and now your prophet is in the, in the trouble. How your yes, prophet, yes. he said, the sign of the judgment day that a slave she gave birth to her master. How stupid is that? Isn't it him himself? He is he is a person who have a slave her, her name is Mary the Copt and he made her supposed to according to you Muslims to give him a son His name is Ibrahim mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. He is the master and she is his slave and she gave birth to him a child his name is Ibrahim So that that's a son of judgment day This is one of them Okay, but this is one of them. So, but this is, but this has happened all history since the beginning of man time is it Abraham? He have a son from his slave no, she was a princess. Princess? Yes, from Egypt. <laughs> Can you show me reference? When the shepherd Can you show me the reference? Why are you why are you trying Can to you show me the reference? No, 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 no. I want to see the reference. I want I want to see the reference that Abraham he married not he did not marry uh, his slave. He married from uh, 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 from a princess. Show me the reference. Listen, let us come to that, but let us be finished with this first. Yeah, we are trying to finish with this. We are stuck here now. I want you to show me where Abraham, he married a princess. I want to name, I want to see the princess, where we can find the story of the princess. Who wanted a prophecy? Yes? Or yeah. No? But this is not a prophecy. This is not a prophecy. All the Romans, they have sex with their slaves and their slaves give birth to, their, to, to, uh, uh, to them. This is a stupid. This is not a prophecy. This is one of them. This is one of them, but it's not a prophecy. This is happening every day. As long as the slaves having sex with their master, they will give birth to, the, the, to them. So how that will be a sign of a judgment? This is a stupid statement. This is one sign. This is what I'm saying, my friend. How how he say this is a sign of judgment day when this has happened long, long before Muhammad and long after Muhammad and even happened with Muhammad himself. 
Yes, but this is one of the signs. He will go see because he is now. This is very troubling, and now he tried to jump over it. And this is one of the signs. What is the sign? If this has happened, Abraham have a have a, have a slave. Pharaohs have a slave. Oh, people before all have a slaves, and they have a children from their slaves. Antara ibn Shaddad he is a son of a slave, very famous uh, uh, person in the between the Arab. So, what do you say to me? How you say to me, your prophet? He made a prophecy. He is that a prophecy or pupu? So, are you finished? Are you finished with this? I want an answer. Is that the prophecy or pupu? It's a prophecy. Okay, so this is stupid prophecy. Continue. Okay, if you want to think like that, no. No, I'm not thinking. This is a proving. Everybody is laughing. Okay, continue. Number two. Okay. Number two. When the shepherd of a black camel start uh, boasting and competing with others in the construction in high building. Yes. What is this? Okay. And what is this? This is a this Where is a this is a sign of judgment day. Yes. That. Okay. Let me ask yes. you. Did you did you ever see did you ever see the high building in Yemen? Let me speak. Let me speak. Abdul, I am asking you to speak. The people of Yemen, they are shepherd of sheep and they have high building before even European. Who? People of Yemen. Okay. They are shepherd and they are Bedouin, and yet and they, they and, 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 and they are and they are shepherd of camel and sheep, and yet they have high buildings. Okay. So how this is a prophecy? It happened even before Let Muhammad. Me speak. Let me speak for one one. You keep saying to me, okay, okay, and then I and then you say to me, okay, okay, and then you say to me to speak. Okay, go ahead. Listen, you are busted. Every time I want to speak, you stop me. Okay, don't speak now. Okay. Mm. When the shepherds of black camels start boasting and competing with other in the construction construction mm. of higher buildings, mm. this is the one of the signs of the hour, and mm. this is what happening now. Where is the highest building in the world? Mm. But this is not even built by them. This is built by us. Where is the highest building in the world? It's not. It's not in Dubai. It's in Where Russia. Is it's in. It is in world? Russia. It is in Russia. No, it's in Dubai. Uh, go and search right now. And it's, uh, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me you that your prophet he prophesied that the highest building this will be a sign of a judgment day, correct? Yes. Okay, but this is the highest building is exist more than fifty years ago, and nothing yet happened. Where is the highest building today? My friend, hold on, hold on. This is a sign of judgment. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. Where is the highest building today? Did the judgment day come? In Dubai, 40 years ago, there was no thing. Okay, here we go. How long ago we have a building, high building in Dubai? No. This, How this long ago? How long ago? The, the high building is called the, the, the tower, whatever they call it. How long is built? Do you want to show it, search in Google? Yes, search. Hmm. That name is Burj Khalifa, and that is the word okay. building in the world. All right, Burj Khalifa. That he's a messenger. All right, Burj Khalifa have a cross, by the way. Okay, hold on. Burj Khalifa, here we go. Burj Khalifa uh, is built, let us see here. Uh, sure, see uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Burj Khalifa. Show us in the building. I will show you the building. The building have a cross in it too. Is that the one? Is that the one have a have a have a cross? I don't I don't know if it's a cross if it's your. Uh, or maybe I, I this is know. different one. Okay, hold on. I don't understand what you want to get from this. Yeah. Well, this is Burj Khalifa. People, they can see it now. Burj Khalifa is built. Do we have the Judgment Day? That is a that is a sign that it's very close, and you sh okay. should repent out to Allah before you. you no, my die. friend, your prophet, you stop here. Your prophet, he gave two prophecy, and he said, when this happened, judgment day is there. This is hate in front of you. Everybody is laughing. It don't. It doesn't say it's there. It say it's no. It he said that. He said that. And the hour, and the hour is one of five things which nobody knows except Allah. Do you see it? Now, do you want me to show you the five things? Do you want me to show you the five things? Wait, 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 wait. Don't, Just to don't. show you that your prophet is a scam. Did he say five things? Why are you saying you are Did a your scam. prophet say five things? Did your prophet say five things? You are a scam. Don't Did your prophet in the hadith in front of us, he said this is one of five things. Did he say that? Did he say yes. that and the hour is one of five things which nobody knows except Allah and he told us those things. Okay, this is Sahih Bukhari. Read with me Allah. Your prophet is a liar and he's a scam because if there are five things, there should be always five things. Not in every story he tells is different. Read with me. This is Sahir Bukhari. 
Allah he said the hour will not come and this is the same story about the high building so we will love together and Muhammad here he called them one by one the hour will not come until till big too big a group fight each other whereupon there will be a great number of casualty one of both sides and they will be following one in the same time in the same doctrine and religion question which is the suit to group they fight each other and then the other one follow the other group religion give me the name please you tell us you tell me here we go this is the first prophecy this is number one mm -hmm. there is too big a group they will fight each other they are the biggest in this earth and then one will win and the other one will follow the religion of the other one tell me which one is that you tell us i don't you tell me here we go this is your prophet making poo poo i have not put my so this my, is a lie this is number one is a lie you cannot answer it let us continue tell there is there is 30 the jail there is 30 the jail so the the, the jail the false messiah is one of them did the the jail the false messiah came yet no he have not come yet thank you very much so number two did not happen too okay let us continue and tell the number three tell religious knowledge is taken away by the death of religious scholars so there's no more scholars left this is number three do you see it mm -hmm. do we still have a scholars right now yes we have scholars thank you very much so this one did not happen yet and then fourth not, shut up not, shut up then the, hold on hold on then four earthquake will increase hold on for earthquake will increase in number is that happening they are, they are corrupted scholars that's why you say, but okay you, but you said to me no 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 you said to me a second ago no we have a scholars you did not say we are corrupted are you saying to me all the scholars of islam today are corrupted we have scholars but they are all corrupted many of them. all corrupted all corrupted i don't say all many of them so then this is, this is not a prophecy yet because here it says Till religious knowledge is taken away. There's nobody. That's it. Nobody knows anything about Islam. As simple as that. Right, we continue. Then he says, earthquake will, earthquake will increase in number. Is that happening? Yes. That's false. We continue. Okay. Time will pass so quickly. Yes. That's mean the day will be short. Is the day is shortened now? Yes. Isn't it 24 hours as the same time in the time of Muhammad? Yes, for you because you live in this worldly life. <laughs> Let us get he's talking about sign for us, you idiot. Sign we will see, sign we will see. Time will be short, will pass quickly, which means that they will be shorter. Let's continue. And then the, the affliction will please. appear, the affliction will appear. And then look what he says Al Haraj, the killing will increase. And then he says the wealth will be abundance. This is number eight, which means there's nobody will take money. You leave it in the street, nobody will take it. Did that happen? Yes. Now, if you leave money in the street, nobody will take it. Yes. Really? Yes. Guys, did you hear this? This guy, he just said that he agreed with his prophet that people, they are leaving money right now in the street and nobody will take it. Can you put your credit card for us on... Uh, on? Uh, uh, can you take a picture of your credit card? and Let us see how many people will take it. I will put it on the screen. Can you do that? I, I cannot help you that you have not been in a rich island. Abdul, don't be stupid. You said that you agree with your prophet that wealth will be abundance and nobody will take it. Even to the point he says, so abundant the wealth person will worry less body, less body should accept his zakat, which means nobody even will take zakat. And whenever he will present it to someone, the person who is presented to or offered to, he will say, I am not in need to it. So your prophet, he says, the judgment day will come when people do not need money no more. Is that happening? Yes. This is happening? Nobody need money no more? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you are something, man. But nobody knows money no more, and you are saying you yes, and you are squeezing you yourself. Your eyes, hold on, hold on, hold on. How in the world? How in the world you consider yourself a man who have a brain, and you say that nobody need money no more these days? Look at Saudi Arabia. Are you blind? Where is which planet you live in? They have a lot of money. They don't need anything. They do not. No. <laughs> they have too much money. <laughs> Abdul, he is this is a sign for judgment day. All mankind suddenly you are talking about Saudi Arabia. And by the way, Saudi Arabia, he put in jail more than 100 billionaire to, 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 to suck their money. He need their money. They are bankrupt. What are you talking about? They no, need money, huh? They, yeah, they need money. Until now, they didn't have sewage. Your Mecca is flooded by, 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 by shit every, every, every rain. Now, let us continue. Everybody is laughing at you. Now, here, number nine. Do you see number nine? 
Do you see number nine? Yes, this, okay. This is the prophecy. Hold on, hold on. Tell people complete one com, uh, com, uh, complete with one another in constructing high building. Do you see it? Yes, and, and okay. that that high building. Is okay, hold on. In, in okay. Saudi Arabia. All right. Thank you very much. So now all those things have to happen before the high building happen. And you are that you want tell you told me. Remember, maybe you forgot. You said to me that the jail did not come yet. The thirty the jail did not come yet. Correct. Who says that this is in order? It is an order. He said one, two, three. Right. Do you see it? Number one, number this two, is, number three, number four. Order. Yes, no, in order. Says, no, is... yes, in order. And the last, the number nine is the building is high, but building is high in the world since two hundred years ago. Actually, even before the Yemeni people, they have it long time ago. The Pharaoh he have a high building. This is stupid. And the Pharaoh, the, his people are shepherd too. They are farmers. They are not a high tech technology. Same time, look what he said. The people will complete in, uh, uh, compete with each other in construction high building and then tell the man he when he passing by the grave of someone he will say would i uh, would that i wear in his place and then the sun this is an order until the sun rise from the west this is the last thing will happen this is number 11 and then the sun will rise to the people from the rising from the uh, uh, from, from the east from the west sorry so your prophet yes. saying the last last sign is the west sun rising not not going there so your prophet obviously is a false prophet and you are the one who helped us to do that because you said that the high building the high building will we will be number nine and people they will not need money before that and people time will pass quickly uh, uh, before that and uh, there's no more scholars in Islam or knowledge about Islam will taken away before that and then 30 the jail will come and nothing happened like that and then no one says this this is according to the st stages it's the major signs he's talking about my friend you are the one who said to me you are the one who mentioned that this is happening right now you forgot yes okay yes okay now what is the but proof? Okay, no, 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 no. The hadith in the front of me it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The people they are witnesses. This is your website, not my website. Show me the opposite. Show me that this is not the order. Go ahead. It's not the order, just because you have read it one, two, no, three. No, show me, seven, show me that this is not the order. Show me that this is not the order. It just should, should get you busted. Do you see number eleven? Do you see number eleven? And the, until the sun rises from the west. All right, let us go and search for that. Okay, let us mm -hmm. see what your prophet said about. Is, is that is the last thing or not? Everybody will laugh at you in a second. It's the hold it's on. One, one of the major signs. Yeah, it's yeah, one of the major. Yeah, your prophet, the false the prophet. Your prophet, the false prophet. Let's see. Here we go. Your prophet, he got you busted, and he quoted the Quran. This is the sun. This is the, the, the this is an order. The sun will be the last thing will disappear and will come from the west. So the sun every day, Muhammad, he said, once I was with the, uh, with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the prophet said, oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? All right. Actually, in Arabic, mm -hmm. he says, he did not say uh, where the sun set. He's, yeah, actually, he said that in the hadith. I replied, uh, Allah and his messenger. Uh, 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 are you happy now? Are you happy? Uh, okay, but this is a stupid. Look at this. Look at this is stupid, your prophet. He's, he, made, he, he, he claimed that the sun goes every day. The sunset, I replied, Allah and his apostles say, uh, know best. He said, it goes and prostrate underneath the throne of Allah. And Allah's statement, and the sun runs in the fixed course. Do you see that? And your Bible says the earth is flat. Do you agree? You know that my Bible doesn't say that. I will show you that from the Quran. Everybody, what happened to you? Everybody is like. <laughs> so you're a prophet. He says he claimed that the sunset is the sun is going. Let me show you under hadith, so we can love together. Read this with me. This one is even more horrible. Your prophet is a prophet, right? Read with me. Do you know where the sun goes? Do you see it? Do you know where the sun goes? He said at the time of the sunset. I replied, Allah and His apostle know better. The Muslims associate the knowledge of their prophet with the knowledge of God. Both are equal in knowledge. He said. It goes, i.e., travel. Your prophet, the stupid, he claimed that the sunset is the sun going. This is the most stupid statement. And then it will prostrate itself under the throne of Allah and it take permission to rise again. It is permitted until the time when come. This is the judgment day. It will be permitted to prostrate itself, but its prostration will not be accepted and it will be, it will be asked permission to go to its course, which means to go from the west, but it will not be permitted. 
but it will be ordered to return whence it has come from which means the rise from the west and that is the interpretation of the Quran read with me carefully Allah statement and the Sun runs to its fixed course so you're a prophet claim that the last order is the Sun will not come from the East do you agree with your prophet or not <laughs> To be honest with you, you you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Nobody do you agree with your prophet or not? He said the sun every day, every day for eternity going yeah, no, until one day about. Allah will not allow it to go. Is that the last thing or not? What? Is this is the last stage before judgment day? Yes or no? And the sun runs its fixed course for a term. Uh, what, what is it uh, you want to uh, what's the problem? I don't I'm asking you is problem. it this is the last stage according to your prophet the Sun every day every day going until one day Allah will not allow it and he will say to us no go from the West Is that the last thing will happen? That is the major signs. It don't say that is the last thing. Abdul you are a liar You are a liar and let me ask you here. Yeah. Hold on Do you agree with your prophet when he said that there is no scars of Islam will be exist and no knowledge of Islam will be exist? That means that they will be corrupted. Okay, that's mean there's no Muslim will be left. No, not Muslims. They will no. be corrupted. You see, here we go. It says the knowledge of Islam will be taken away. You see between two brackets, it doesn't say even scholars. This is a lie of the Muslim translation. It says, tell the knowledge, the religious knowledge of taking away so nobody will have anything about his religion from Muslims. Yes, yeah, that do, is the religious. Do you scholars. agree with that? No. Doesn't even say the scar. This is this is this is that between but two brackets. Because you don't know about Islam. That's why you don't. You have no idea. Okay, is that a sign about. of judgment day? You are saying to me, you're a prophet. He said that this is a sign of judgment day, which means there's no Muslims. Real Muslims will be left be, uh, left in this earth. Do you accept that? Yes, this is the major sign. Okay, so you are saying to me, you so you Muslims, you Muslim, you lie to us. You say our number is a growing. Islam is a growing. Will take over the earth. When Muhammad is saying growing. that. That hold on, hold on. What a growing is growing is dying. Your prophet saying that Islam is going to die before the judgment day. There's no Muslim left. Nobody knows anything about Islam. Read it. Read Genius World Record 2004. The fastest religion in the world. Is My friend, Islam. no, this is not the fastest. This is the fastest dying religion. And here we go. You are a Muslim in the front of me. You do not know how to answer. So all of this proved to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. What kind of a prophet he believed that the sun set because the sun goes from point A to point B? Is that a false prophecy or not? It's not a false prophecy. So what do you mean a false prophecy? Is Who false. is the donkey when I believe that the sun goes every day from point A to point B? And this is what explained the sunset. Do you really believe in that? No, that is what your, your understanding is. No, your it's not my understanding. Is Read, it. Read it. It says, I replied, Allah, apostle, and no better. He said, it goes. The sun goes, i.e. travel. Then it frustrates itself. So your prophet explaining how the sun set. Yes or no? Ask me at sunset, do you know where the sun goes at the time of sunset? I reply, Allah is supposed to know better. Uh, he said, it goes, travels till it prostrates itself underneath the throne. What okay. is wrong with you? Okay, so the sun is, the, he is explaining how the sun goes. Here we go. He said, the sun goes. Which one is going? The sun. The fact the sun is going nowhere. And you're a prophet here is a being a donkey. Does the sun goes it's anywhere? He said, it goes. Yes, it goes. Do you know what goes where? It's i.e. travel. This is your Muslim translation. I.e. travel. So you're a prophet saying that the sun is moving. Arabic, Arabic word. What does it say? You are Arabic. Here we go. It says here. He said, "Aina tadhab? Where it goes? Called Allah wa Rasuluhu alam. Qala fa inna tadhab tahta al-shams. It goes and sorry, tasjid tahta al-arsh. It goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah, and then will ask permission to come back." And then we'll, we'll, we'll be doing that until Allah one day will, will not permit it to go back and then he will order her to come from the ear from the West Yes, this is metaphoric speaking. This is not metaphorical. This is a lie. This is a sign of a judgment day. Stop no. lying Stop lying. You are the one who gave me the head uh, uh, oh, Hold on hold on a second ago. You said to me. Yes, in this in, is going to come from the West and this is a sign of judgment day This is physical not metaphorical. Stop lying this is metaphoric. You, you are a donkey no liar. Everybody is laughing at you. He is giving us a sign of judgment day. Sign we will see with our eyes, you liar. How that is going to be metaphorical? You don't understand. It's a metaphoric. How that can be metaphorical? Okay, give us the metaphoric of it. That that the sign will go and ask permission to Allah. 
but about the sun will come from the west is that metaphorical we believe that everything is alive and everything has to the sun will come from the west is that metaphorical what the sun will come from the west is that metaphorical the sun will come from it will raise from the west yes is that metaphorical or physical no no that is physical okay did your prophet count it as the last thing as a sign of the judgment day yes okay so here we go we prove to you the stages the so here we go this is consistent with this hadith is the last stage before the judgment day do you see one it? of the, one of them it's not in stage okay let me ask you we mentioned where the sun goes because it's so now we prove we prove that your prophet you we prove that your prophet is a false prophet now let, let me ask you let me ask you did your prophet say that the major of mankind is the roman hmm? did your prophet he says before judgment day the roman they will become the major of mankind the return of jesus is one of the closest which is the this sign. is not the question now is it true yes. it is this true that the, the major of uh, the major of mankind they will be from the roman you know that when he come he will this is not the question this you. is not the question i'm asking you my friend focus with me focus stop being uh, is it true that the roman will be the major of the mankind the roman will be in the major the major not population of the mankind okay what what is this what do you want to know about this i'm asking you is it true that the roman they will be the biggest population for mankind yes or no i have no idea if I show you that your prophet he said that what you will do let us see no no if I show you that are you going to agree that your prophet is a false prophet let us see let us see what okay it is. before I show you where is the Roman located can you give me the name of the country of the Roman is the Europe is Europe where is what country everyone everyone in Europe is uh, a Roman everyone in your in Europe is your Roman who said that to you yes. who is the donkey yes. he said that to you everyone okay everyone everyone donkey where, 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 where do you get reference from that the roman are the european this is our understanding not your understanding ah our understanding ah okay yes okay. you're not one of us okay you, okay you okay yeah, thank god i am not one of you okay yes okay uh, thank god okay here we go you, you know you're a prophet he said i heard allah messenger that this is a hadith too i heard allah messenger saying as saying the last hour would come when the Roman would form the majority among the people how truthful this is prophecy is uh, see what are you saying let me see what you are saying what are you saying hmm. They have the patience to undergo a trial and immediately restore themselves to the last hour would come when the Romans would form a majority amongst you, amongst people. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Are they? What is it? Are they the majority? You said to me yes. from the sign of the judgment that the, the Arab they will have high buildings. Okay. This the Romans, you think it's Italy? No, 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 tell me what it is, what it is. It's the Europe. Okay, Europe. Are Europe now the majority of mankind, you donkey? It's the one of the major. What when no, he says here that the, the last hour would not come until the Roman would may the be the majority of among the people. They are the majority. The European, they are a small, tiny in number. They are not even 300 million. This is the, this is the population of a street in China. The whole Europe. The whole Europe. Are you sure? Yes. They are, in uh -huh. not, they are not even the size of, 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 of Indonesia alone. How many, how many is it in whole Europe? I don't know, but your prophet saying know. that they Why are the majority. Are knowledge? they, are they more than the Asian? Is the Roman Asian? Hmm? The major population are they the, are they are they the European or the Asian? Compare. Let us compare between ethnic. The European hmm. are white people. Are they the European who live in Europe? They are more than the Asian who live in Asia. Are they the majority? But this have, maybe have not happened yet. Ah, so now the European they will start have babies like a chicken and lay eggs, and then they will become the majority. Actually, what happened is the opposite. They are hmm? decreasing in what number. 
They are the crazy in number they because they, they they get married they have one child or two child so you're a prophet give false prophecy again no it's not the first prophet. first this of all there's no roman thing. first of all there's no roman exists no more the only country can be can be called the roman is italy and it's not even mm -hmm. 30 million and your prophet is a big fat liar and the european they are not the roman this is a big fat lie from you to cover the ass of your prophet Number no, three, the is, number is, is decreasing. Their number is decreasing, not increasing. That's why you don't have the knowledge. That's why. Okay, somebody, so somebody ignorant. said to me, somebody said to me that the European now today is seven hundred, etc., seven hundred million. But the seven hundred million, half of them they are uh, immig immigrant. Where is the Roman? There's no Roman, and none of them is is uh, Italy is the only country can be considered Rome. That's it. Roma but is where. Is, where is Roma? What is Roman the, what is the people who people. speak? Who are the, the people who speak the Roman language? Is the people who live in Rome and not live in Italy? Not the French, not the English, not the, not 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 Irish, not the German. Let us make it simple. So you're a prophet here. He is making a poo poo. How he says such a thing? What? How he says such a such such a prophecy? Yes, but this maybe they have not happened yet. It's impossible to happen. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you're a prophet. Uh, maybe, you're a prophet. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. You're a prophet when he said that. You're a prophet. He noticed that the Roman are the biggest, biggest empire. So he thought they are going to grow. He never imagined they were going to shrink. No, this is what you believe. You you don't have the knowledge that what will happen in fifty years. Uh, ah, years. okay. Let me ask you: Who is the one who will conquer Constantinia? Is it the Turkish or the Muslims, Arab Muslims? It have already been the Muslim who have. They are. They are the Turkish. The Turkish. But you're a prophet. He claimed that the Turkish are your enemy. Stay away from them, as they stay away from you. He never prophesied no, they were Muslims. You know, you no. Know, hold on, no. Your prophet he claimed that the Turkish are your enemy. Stay away from them as long as they stay away from you. So they didn't stay away from us. Hmm? They don't stay they away from you. They didn't stay away from us. But your prophet he claimed that he should kill them and fight them. Read with me. But if they didn't stay away, okay. From us, read with me. Read with me. The last hour would not come until people wearing shoes of hair fighting against you, leaving their uh, their faces like hammered shield. He's speaking about the Asian, and this is a sign of judgment day. But this is how long mm -hmm. how long time ago happened? And here he says, the last hour would not come until the Muslim fight the Turk with mm -hmm. the people who they are faces. Do you see the Turk? So you're a prophet claim that the Turkish will never be Muslims. They are your enemy. And he's making fun of their look because they are Asian. Mm -hmm. He's saying that their faces is like the one who you hit with the hammer. Yes. Okay. How come the, how how this can be true? You're a prophet. He did not know that the Turkish will become Muslims. This is not the uh, Turkish. It's the the. What, huh? the, the it, it says they the Turk it doesn't say Turkey. There's no Turkey, my friend. There's nothing. It's called Turkey. This is the Turk. Does it say that in the front of you? Yes, there was not something. What? No, but, 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 but how he how he say that this is a sign of judgment day? Yes, this is one sign. What do you mean one sign? This has happened during the Caliphate, during the time of the Abbasian. This is a sign mm -hmm. of judgment day. This is not long after Muhammad. This has happened thousand years ago. How this is a sign of a judgment day? Yes, this is science. You don't understand. No, right. no, no. I understand. He says they will fight you and they are your enemy. Yes. He didn't say they will convert to Islam. They have fight. <laughs> <laughs> they have fight. And by you the way, why why he's making fun of their look? Why your prophet making fun of, of the Turkish people? Why he is making fun because of their they face? Look like that. What, what's the problem? Ah, so you according to you, really, a human being who is a Turkish or Asian, he looked like we hit his face with the hammer. Yes, and he called the way the redneck. Man, who who is the stupid he said that to you? Guys, did you he hear this? He agree with his prophet. He agree with his prophet that the Asian people they look like that. How they look like? They are like people who they are hit in their face with the hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me ask you: from the signs of the judgment day, as long as you are talking about signs of judgment, judgment day, is it true that the most person Allah he hate is he black or white? 
Allah don't hate anybody in the color. Okay, I'm asking you, is it true? Which one? Is he black or he is white? I'm saying to you, Allah, don't look at any colors. I don't what care. Do I'm mean? asking you, which one of them, Allah, he, he don't? Okay, what if I prove you wrong? Okay, prove me wrong. Okay, here we go. Show me that Allah says, a man who is black, I hate him. Okay, here we go. Guy, did he say that for me? Okay, can you give me like two hours to find the hadith? No, why two hours? Okay, call me tomorrow because now there's people are calling. Why? We can talk. I why need to find it. I cannot find this now. Ah, okay, okay. But let me ask you. Oh, no, I, I was joking with you. Here we go. The hate in front of me. Read it. The most person Allah he hate is a black man. Does it say wait. that or I'm making things up? Wait, wait. <sighs> Let me see. let me read from the beginning. Where are you? Read as much as you want. Here we go. Let me read from the beginning. Where are you? Read from the beginning. This is not from beginning. Go. To, this go, is the beginning. This is the beginning. There. Okay. Okay. Wait. Here we go. Read. When Abdul uh, free, freed slave of the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when Ahura the Kawa set out and as he was with Ali ibn Talib. I uh, may be pleased with him. Mm. They say there is no command but that of Allah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, upon this, Ali said, the statement is true, but it is intentionally applied to support a wrong cause. Mm. The messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi described the char char characteristics, and I found this characteristic in them. Mm. They state the truth with their tongue. Mm. But it does not go beyond this part of their bodies. Mm. Okay, and mm. the narrator pointed towards his throat. Mm. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is one black man among them. <laughs> He's talking about one one individ, individual. Yes, but individual. why he is the most hateful person? What what his color have to do? You said to me, Allah color, the color have nothing to do with Allah hatred to anyone. Why he is mentioning his color? He's mentioned this about a man. No problem. Why he is a black and why he is mentioning his color? What about I say I hate one of them? He is there wherever. Why he have to? Why he have to say he's a black? Okay. What are you thinking about this? That Allah hate people. The most black? person Allah he hate in the earth is a black man. Is that a true? Did I lie to you when I said that to you? You said to me, no. This is a lie. Yes, and he was kavairi. Doesn't matter. So the most the most person Allah he hate in the earth is not a Trump. Is not me. It is a person. He is a black. Do you agree? Is one black man among them? Kavari. Doesn't matter. Does what it does Kavari? it say? Does it say that the most hateful among the creation of Allah, the most, is a black mm -hmm. man? Yes or no? Well, don't you read? Allah is one, the creation of Allah is one black man among the Kawarij. Doesn't matter. This this addition is not it's not even there. It doesn't say Kawarij there. And the height doesn't say Kawarij. This why it's between the two bracket. I don't care if they are Kawarij or Tawarij. Who care? I'm asking you why the most person Allah he hate is a black man. What is Khawarij? Khawarij is supposed to be those who they are uh, going out of the of the uh, true practice of Islam. Exactly. Mm. So why why Allah uh -huh. he hate the black man? What the black man have why, to do with why this? Why are you looking things up? Why are so, you like so so different? so because if if somebody he is a black man and he is not following the true Islam, Allah he hate he is the most hateful person for them. What, the, what the, why is the top person who Allah hate is a black man? This is the question. What about he is a Trump? What about he is a redhead? Why he is a black? Why? Let me ask you: Is mm. is is the devil a black man? Uh, no, I think he's white. Okay. What if I show you that your prophet even says that the one or the hadith says the one who said the prophet is black kill him? Okay, but listen, read in Arabic. Hold on, hold like? on, hold on. You are the one who said to me, let, me, let us let us show some reference. You are the one who said to me 
that Allah hatred to color have nothing to do with the truth correct yes okay let us see if this is true or not you can read in the Quran it says we have made you into tribes and the best among you are the one who have taqwa that means fear in Allah mm. yeah yes he was talking to this who is... he was talking to who this is what he says okay isn't it in the Quran he says what is that mm. okay. what is that which mean Allah will make black faces and white faces all the believers with Allah will make them white and all uh, the less believers Allah will make them black in the in the Quran yes in the Quran okay well, show me then now read this hadith for me before we go there <coughs> Read it, please. Go ahead. This is about sunset. No, this is about black and white. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah created Adam, we had to create him, and he struck his right where white ends. Hmm. He struck his left shoulder and then emitted from it the black offspring as if they were. He then said from the right for paradise and I do not mind mm. Then he said to those who had been admitted from his left shoulder they I Cannot see the rest of the text mm. There's no much there. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Here we go. Can you read it for us because you are not you are reading yourself only uh, Do you hear me? Yeah, I, I I want to read. I want you to read it for us. Read it. Are you proud about this? Yes, I read. I don't uh, see what's the problem. You don't see what the problem, guys. You don't see what the problem. Uh, they are for hell, and I do not mind. Hmm. Who are the, who are the one who would go to hell? Uh, show me, show me. What is the what is your point with this? Don't tell me, show me, show me. Here we go. I'm showing you who is the one who will go to hell according to your prophet. Who is the one who Allah created to hell? Uh, were, he struck his left shoulder and there emitted it, emitted from it the black offspring as if they were. Circle. What is this word? Circle. Like charcoal. you know the, the, the thing is, you do. The, the black thing you do barbecue with. The burn uh. the burned wood. Okay. So now your God Allah, he hit the shoulder of Adam in the left shoulder, and from there he emitted the black people. And then he said to those who they are from the left shoulder, which mean the black, go to hell and I don't mind. And he said to the white ones, go to heaven and I don't mind. Do you see it? To those who have been admitted from his death show that they are for hell and I don't mind. Hmm. Okay, what is what is uh, this? What about? is this? What is this? You're telling me what is this? Allah, he said, he created the black people to go to hell and the white people to go to heaven. And I don't mind. That's what he said. Don't tell me what is this. Do you want more proof that your God is a filthy racist? No, he's not a racist. Who is Bilal? So you tell me, Bilal, oh, oh, guys, who is Bilal? Who is Bilal? Bilal is just a slave. Muhammad died, and Bilal is a slave. Don't don't lie. He's a slave. He, yes, he's a he slave. Him out yes, from, he is a slave. He bought him out. He bought him out from slavery. Uh, no, 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 no. Nowhere. Show me the reference where he Muhammad he free him after Muhammad he died. Bilal he came to Abu Bakr and he said, "If you bought me for the sake of yourself, give me for yourself as yourself." If you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me for the sake of Allah. The poor guy, they promised him he would go to heaven. They promised him that you are good. Yeah, Allah, etc. They lied to him. The guy who was fighting them and that Muhammad, he died. And yet he is still a slave. And now answer. Don't change the topic. Did your prophet say that Allah created the black people designed to go to hell? Uh, and they were made from it black also as it they were. He then said from the right for paradise and I do not mind then he said to those who had been admitted from his left shoulder They are all for hell and I don't mind mm. so, so Allah he don't mind that the black he created the people who they are black to go to hell and he created the white red head to go to heaven That's what the hadith is saying Okay, and what is this for hadith? 
This is Jamia Hadith at Turmudi, and this is your Islamic website. Do you want me to show it to you? Here we go. This is uh, uh, al al org library. Not my website. I have nothing to do with it. And this is at Turmudi, Hadith number 38. Uh, okay, go sniff. Let us uh, take another uh, caller. You are with me before long. You're getting tired and spank very good. So we got you busted. We got you busted. Go sniff there. Take drugs. Sniff like a, like a mule. Let us see this guy. He's trying to call. Yes, Abdul. How are you? Hello. Yes, Abdul. Hello. Hello, hello, Abdul. Hello. Yeah, we hear you. You heard me? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Uh, how you doing? How's uh, everything, bro? And uh, bro, okay, uh, I'm doing fine. Good, good. Alhamdulillah, I'm good too. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So, what Alhamdulillah? You're trying to explain to this guy, right? Yeah. What this guy? So you are trying to tell him that uh, God created black people from the right shoulder, hmm. and white people from the uh, from the right shoulder, white people, and from the left shoulder, black people. Right. You're right. trying to explain this, right? Right. Okay. So first, as I told you before, that you don't know anything about Islam, anything hmm. about Quran, nothing okay. about Hadith, right? Uh huh. So I'll explain to you right now. Okay, explain. Okay. Okay. So in reality, this hadith, the meaning of this hadith is that black meaning the black people, mm -hmm. it means the people who are black in their heart, the people who are the, if, who if, 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 guys, guys, black, black in their heart, black in their heart. Do you see the, do you see the word? Oh, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you the see the word? He's mentioning are those people who are with light. Abdul, Abdul, don't stop lying. He says they are born, he yeah, struck them, lying. and they are born. You're hold on. Connect. He said, he says the from it, the oh, offspring. Right. He said the offspring of they are black like circle. They wear, not their heart. They are born this way. Stop lying it's in front of you. Everybody's laughing at you. They are born like circle. Why you are lying? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> their heart is black they have a black heart <laughs> I want to have a black heart too hmm. are you there Abdul I don't know what happened to him look like Allah he muted him Allah he said to him you idiot you, you, you got us even more busted yes Abdul yes child child molester how are you how are you child molester listen Child molester Muhammad, your, your prophet is the one who who have sex with a child, and you are talking about child molester. Shame on you! Why can you not? What can you? Why can you not hmm. do one thing and be a man for one time in your life? I cannot. I cannot because in order to be why? a man for one time, I have to have a girlfriend so I can have a son. Me and Allah, we, are, we have the same problem. He cannot have a son because he doesn't have a girlfriend, and that will make him a man. And I cannot have a son because I don't have a girlfriend, and that will make me a man. So, do you have a version for me? Okay, be 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 a be a be a man uh, and tell me what kind of God this God is who say the black people will go to hell and he created them to go to hell and the white people, the blonde people, the white skinned people, they will go to heaven. What kind of God this God is? You are the one who did lie to me, and you said to me, Allah don't care for your color. And you Muslim, you quote for us the sermon, the last sermon of the Prophet. He said that there is no difference between the black and white, but this is a fabricated hadith. We cannot even find the reference of it. This is a big fat lie. It is not a hadith to be accepted. So you quote for us when you want a fabricated hadith, and you quote for us a hadith which is false just to prove a false point. Here we go, your Prophet saying clearly, and not only that. You said to me, where in the Quran it says black and white, yes? But what, where does it say that this this uh, hadith you have shown me, it's sahih? Well, for sure it's not sahih. Are you kidding me? The Muslim, they will they will eat their fingers, or they, they will reject it. <laughs> is it sahih or not? This is Jami al-Turmudi. Jami al-Turmudi is one of the six authentic hadith book. But on not only the book, Abdul, Abdul, this, okay, this, this, blah, 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 get lost. Next, anything we will show you is not Sahih. I don't care. You Muslims are a bunch of liars because if this is a false story, it's mean you Muslims are fabricating stories about your prophet. Shame on you. 
that means Islam did not make a good Muslims Islam provide devilish people if you cannot even be truthful about your prophet you will be truthful about what if you're a scholar collecting stories and those stories are fabricated that's mean you Muslims are a bunch of fabricators when they when they see anything don't call me let the other guy call me let the other guy call me somebody he understand what he's talking about who is a Muslim have the courage to answer the devil is a black do you know guys that the devil is a black once in Facebook a Muslim guy uh, I was posting about the, the, the black color and then and then uh, a Muslim he says have you ever seen a black angel <laughs> Oh boy, this is how the Muslims defend their racism and their cult. If we go in the hadith, you will see Muhammad saying this. And by the way, this is even the Quran. Muhammad he claimed that the devil he will come as an African man. Yes, Abdul, why you are calling me? Yes, let me spank you. Okay, let me ask you. Is it true that the devil is a black man? If he is or not, what does what does it have to do? We need to tell me why the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black man too. Why he is not a white man? Why he is not a Trump? Was Jesus white or black? But we don't care. We I will worship him if he is an no, Asian. No, if he looks, don't care. I don't Answer. care. No. Is show. Okay. Hold. Okay. Let me show you. Let us in front of everybody. Can you show me one statement in the whole books of the Christians mentioned that Jesus was white? Nowhere. I can well, show you I tons of hadith about Muhammad. They speak about how white he is. Yes or no? Why are you putting image on him? That he no, I am not putting this. Is people make images. This is not, don't care. If you go to China, Jesus look at Chinese for those people who make images. If you go to Philippines, he's a Filipino. If you go to Africa, he's an African. We don't care. And this is false uh, images. This is those are false. Your, those your, are false your, images. This uh, is not. Movies. This is not from a Christianity. Have nothing to do with it. Yes. This is what people do. Now the I'm asking you. Christian dome is doing this. That means you all of you are corrupted. Uh, uh, donkey, this is this is false. We don't do that. I don't do that. And if somebody mm. do that, this is yes. not, uh, Abdul. You, you, you see, you are you, you are, are a hypocrite now. You are trying to change the topic. It's you Muslims who make a fabrication, fabricated images of Ali and and Abu Bakr and Omar. Go and see. And, Go and go in, in, in Lebanon, go in Iran and laugh. You will go crazy. Now, I'm asking you why the devil is a black Ethiopian man? Why he is not European? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your prophet saying that the devil will come and will destroy the Kaaba, and he is an Ethiopian man. Okay. And he is making fun of his legs. Because he's an African. Okay. And you're a prophet. He spoke, by the way, about Bilal. He says, obey the order of your command because he put the black slaves in the command because they are good in fighting. They are good in, 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 in their, their, their physical body structure is very good for war. So he said, obey your commander, even if he's a raising head. This is how he described the, the black people. Raising head. Everybody laughing at this garbage talking. This is going to be a prophet of God. And now he is saying, that the Ethiopian, the African, are the devil who will destroy the Kaaba, and he's making fun of the look of their legs. Ah, uh, so you are talking about slavery now? I'm not talking about slavery. I'm talking about the black people specifically. They are the devil in Islam. Read Leviticus twenty-five forty-six. Here we you go. Here, take we. Them. Mm. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> so, so, no, 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 I, I don't want to read. You know, we know that in the Bible there was a slaves, and the Jews themselves they've been taken as a slaves. But you will not see in the Bible it says that the the black people are evil. But this is this is command. Shut from up! God. No, they have a slaves. Even the Bible says that a Jewish man he can offer himself, offer himself in slavery for seven years, which means servant to be a servant of somebody to pay his debt. So stop lying, stop playing games. Why your God says that the Ethiopian, the African, they are the devil? Listen, why are you why are you trying to lie here? Why? Why I'm lying? Here we go. It's in the front of you. Read it. Read it. In, in, in Leviticus 20, Go, get lost, 20. get lost, get lost, donkey. 
He cannot answer. He have to change the topic. Yes, Abdul. Yes, child. Child molester. Yes, you said you said about the previous caller. Uh -huh. where, show me where um, uh, Jesus go to toilet. Yeah. Okay, show me. Okay, go to your Bible. Okay. Open your Bible. Okay, tell me where. Luke. Okay. Chapter mm -hmm. twenty-four. Okay. Verse mm -hmm. 42 to 43. Read 42 it. 42 and 43. Okay. 41, 42, and 43. Read it. All right. Let's go. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Show your God here now. Mm. Okay. Read first. Okay. And this is 41, 42. And then when he had uh, uh, spoken, he showed them his hand and his feet and while they yet believed not for joy and wounded he said to them have you the uh, have have uh, have ye here any meat and then they gave him piece of uh, boiled fish and uh, honeycomb where is it says that he did the uh, pee you don't understand no i didn't understand you explain to me you see there that he says that I he 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 went to the toilet. It says that that you. What what did he ask for? He asked for what? He asked for. Uh, it says here food. Is that food? Okay. Okay. And where where do you put your food in? In your mouth. And where does it come out? Okay. Let me ask you. Everybody will laugh at you right now. From his ass. From his ass. Hold on. Know? Okay. If you let me. Know, I tell you. Okay. From his ass. Okay. Okay. So are you saying to me, whoever believes? <laughs> Uh, you can scream as much as you want. This is from coming from your ass. Is it your God who said to you, you will go to heaven, but you will eat, but you will not do shit? Yes or no? Are you making fun of Allah? Are you making fun of Allah? In the heaven, you are you God? Are you saying to me you are God because you will not shit in heaven? In Jannah, yeah. no one go and, and go to the toilet. No Thank you very to much. So, guys, did you hear this? In Jannah, nobody go to the toilet. So how you will eat, but yet you will not shit. You are you are making fun of me here. You are saying to me, how oh, Jesus cannot eat and he will not go to the bathroom. You are saying that. I'm not saying that. So in but you, in your belief, you stupid. In your belief, Jesus is is Jesus coming from Jannah according to Islam. He is the Word of God came down to earth, sent down to Mary, and now Jesus is in heaven. You Abdul, and this is Jesus after the resurrection. This is Jesus after the resurrection. So now you confirm to me that Jesus is God. So now you are saying to me, if somebody do not, if somebody eat, that is not a proof that he is not God, because you just said to me that in heaven you are going to be God. When a Muslim they say to me, how Jesus can be God, but yet he eat. Why they say to you, because if he eat, you want to go to the bathroom. Then we find that they're they're a prophet and the Muslims they are in heaven eating and having sex, but yet they will not go to the bathroom. Yes, but he live in this worldly life. Who care? But Jesus in this worldly Jenna. life. This is, but Jesus, no, Jenna. my friend. But Jesus said, "I am not from this earth." Did he say that? Not in Jannah. No, but it doesn't matter. He proved to us that he is not from this earth, and he have the power. He have he have a power which nobody have, and uh, even your Quran confirmed that. Let me ask you, the Quran says nobody can tell you what you hide in your houses. Is that true? It's a big matter. And where does Jesus say, "I'm not from this world"? Well, uh, if I show you. What you would do? Show me where he say I am not from this world. Mm -hmm. But if I show you what you would do? What I will do? I will believe it. You will believe it. You promise me. Of course. Okay. Show it to you. Be my witness, everybody. He said, "If Jesus says that, he will believe it." Be my witness. You will see okay, in a second that. Say? Okay. You will what see in. A, you will see this in a second. He will say, "I don't believe it." Here yes, we go. Yes. Yes, this is the book of John. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse number 23. He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are from this world, I am not from this world. And you promise me you will believe it. I am not of this world. Yes, it's true, it's there. Okay, so you said to me you will believe it. Did you did you keep your promise or you are a potato? Yes, I believe it. So now Jesus is not from this world. So the Quran is wrong. 
No, it's not wrong. What do you mean? He is not from this world. He is not a human like us. He is not from here. He is from above. But this is from uh, uh, Bible. You, 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 yes, but you told me you will believe it, and you said you believe it a second ago. You said you believe it. So now you cannot take it back. You just admitted that what? Jesus is God. You admit, I believe it. My, from my, your Bible. my friend, you admitted that Jesus is God. This is John chapter 8, verse number 23. And you promised me, you made a promise in the front of everybody that if I can show you that, you will believe it. And then I showed you, and you, you, became, you are a man, I respect you now. That you said I believe it okay so now you believe that Jesus is not from this earth where is Jesus is from according to this verse the one you believe in now hmm? where is he from John 823 hmm. where is he from <laughs> Where is from? Just you can you know he is not from this world. Where is Jesus from? We think Yes, he said he's not from this world, but okay, it, where is from? It's not from the the Quran, you see, I thought you will uh, show from the Quran. No, 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 you are a hypocrite. You said to me where yeah. Jesus said in the Bible, uh, it's recorded, everybody is laughing at you. And then after I show it to you, and I'm showing it in the screen, and you were reading it, and you know it's in the Bible, and you said, Yes, I believe in it. Stop lying. Okay, sure. You I, saw it in the screen. I have, I have I'm showing you. I said to you, John, I said to you, John, chapter 8, verse number 23, and I show you the screen, and you after you saw it, and you start reading it, and you said, Yes, I agree with it. Now you are saying to me, show me from the Quran. You are being hypocrite now. No, 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 no. I not only that, not Quran. only that, Abdul, let me get you busted more. Do you know what Jesus said after that? What did he say? Look what he said. You say to me where Jesus says, I'm God. First of all, he said, I'm from heaven. I'm from above. I'm not from here. He's not one of us. All right. And then he mm -hmm. says to them, uh, let us read here. Mm -hmm. Then Come Jesus on, said to them, I will go away in my, and and you and you will sh you shall seek me. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Mm -mm. Let's go from John. This is John eight. Okay, all right. Then it says here, uh, "I shall go away, and you shall seek me, and shall die for you for your sin. Whither I go, you cannot come. Where I can go, you cannot come." Then the Jews they said, "You will kill himself because he says, where I go, you cannot come.'" And then he said to them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are from this world, I am not of this world. And I said before unto you that you shall die for your sin, for if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sin. Who is he? I am he, you shall die in your sin. Who is he? Sense. Who is he? Mm -hmm. If you if you don't believe that he is he, you will die for your sin. Which means if you believe in Jesus, then you will not die because of your sin. What is the authority of believing in Jesus that he is he that will make you not to die because of your sin? Do you know? But you you really believe that someone died for your My sin? My friend, you are the one who said to me, you believe in this if you saw if you see it. You are the one who will promise me if you see this, if you if I show it to you, you will believe in it. Are you going to swallow your tongue again? No, I say I believe in this. Okay. I don't say okay. Uh, so no, now, okay, let's, let, let, let us focus on the one you 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 said you believe in it. So when Jesus mm -hmm. said, "I am not from this world," mm -hmm. and He is from above, and you said, "I believe in it," okay. Can you take down the text? Take what? Uh, go 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 down go down. We can go down as much as you want. What do you want? Just go down. Okay, where what do you want? What do you want? All the way down? No, no, no. Just just few few uh, verses down. Okay. Stop, stop. Hmm. So what you will do now? Jesus is not from this earth and you admitted that you believe in it. You are out of Islam, my friend. I'm happy for you. No, I will not out. Yes, here we go. You just said everybody heard you. It's too late. 
Everybody heard you saying that Jesus is not from this earth. God, did he say that? He said, you said you believe in that, that he is from above. He is not from mankind. He is not one of them. He is from above. You are from this earth. You are down. I am from above. Okay. Okay, and you said you believe in that. So now you are out of Islam. Do Islam teach that Jesus is from above or he is from this earth? He come from a vagina, my brother. Well, here we go. So you see, a second ago you said to me that Jesus is from above, but in a second after you said to me Jesus is coming from a vagina. So you are saying to me that for you, according to you, above is vagina and Allah is a vagina. No, he come out from a vagina. Well, you see, you are, you are a hypocrite. You are a liar. And you know you, you contradict yourself. You, you got you got busted and now you are trying to insult so I will hang up on you and you will get out of your misery You say to me you believe that if I show you he is from above you will believe in it And I show it to you and you said you believe in it now why you are trying to make it out Try to say something you, you did not say a second ago He I is not from this world where he is from I say I believe in it, but he's still from his mother. Who who was okay? He is he is too? not from this world. What does that mean? What does that mean? Explain to me. He is not from this world, and you said you believe in that. Who was in Mary's womb? This is not the question. He is not, and you yes. you you agree? You agree that he is not from this world. So where he is from? I say I will believe you. I don't say I I will believe that he's not. No, you said way. you will believe, and you said I believe in that. Everybody heard you. You are a liar, scumbag. Don't call me again. Don't ever call me again. I have no respect for you. It's recorded. Very embarrassing. This is the whole story. Extremely embarrassing. And you say to me, where Jesus said, I am God. Well, if he is not from this world, he's from where? What he is? I am from this world. You are from this world. Everyone from dust to dust. But Jesus is not. For he is not from this world. And I'm showing you even a translation which you like, like international version, which is a funny translation. Whatever translation you want to see. Everything in the front of us confirmed that Jesus is God and you just left Islam Unless you want to say to your God I was a liar like you I am the living God Before Abraham I am Yeshua he said to them Timeless truth I speak to you before Abraham would exist. I am the living God. And they start picking up stones and throw it at Jesus. For he claimed to be God himself. Don't call me back, you liar. I res res respect for you. I give you a chance as long as you are you know, you call me names, etc. But there's no point of talking to a, a coward liar. Who cannot even keep, keep promise his, his words but I understand a follower of a child molester he cannot act better and they say to us where Jesus says I am God hmm. every statement of Jesus saying he is God not one not two not three not four every statement liars liars will end in fire as simple as that the same chapter actually in chapter John verse number 28 uh, verse number 28 I think yeah let us go 27 okay Yeshua spoke again to them when you have lifted up the son of man then you shall know that I am the living God and I do nothing of my own and by the way this is the translation of the Aramaic Bible this is this is the translation is called Aramaic Bible in plain English very original very authentic 
I am the living God I do nothing of my own pleasure but as my father he taught me he is the living God in the same time as my father he taught me what does that mean that mean he is a man he is doing exactly as his father taught him the man in front of you is a man but God in the man who the word became a man God incarnation so the word of God speaking on me I am God worship me I do nothing of my own because people they are asking who is this person who is doing this and what what he's talking about he's a man we look in front of us we see a man how we can say that And when you ask the Muslims why, why, uh, why the Jews they want to kill Jesus, they have no answer. They say because he's a prophet. That's stupid. <laughs> and the, the funny that which make it more funny, the the Muslim the Quran confirmed that the Jews they believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Why the Jews are waiting for the Messiah yet they want to kill the Messiah? If they believe he is the Messiah, why do they want to kill the Messiah? Stupidity. Anyway, guys, we are here for many uh, hours. Uh, did we have a good time? Don't forget, please, to watch the previous video yesterday. It was hilarious. If you liked uh, some comedy to relax, to laugh like crazy, the video yesterday it was actually it was really good for like uh, will make you get gain weight because you will laugh a lot so don't forget to watch the previous video the one before this one because I will take it down as all my video I don't leave them there for 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 long you can download the video you can share it in your channel you can have more subscribers good for you please download my videos if, if they are long for you you can cut them pieces based on the topic based on the color and you can post it again all right so I want to say thank you for being here. It's time for me to go and eat something I did not eat since yesterday. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you and keep you in good wealth and health. And as you see, Islam is the most stupid religion. And Muslims are very de deceiving people. They try to fool us. Fabricate things is not there. And the purpose is very simple. The guy who before this man, he said, yes, Allah deceive. And Allah, he is the one who guides. So if Allah decide to deceive you to become a Muslim, he will go after you. If you are already a Muslim, why he want to deceive you? Allah deceive only those who they are not Muslims. Because a Muslim, he's already deceived. There's no need to make him deceived. This is why he target the one who is not deceived. The opposite of Jesus. Jesus said, I came to the sick. Jesus, he want to heal the sick. Allah, He want to make you sick. For Allah is the father of all lies, and He is the devil. And this is proven every day by the Muslims, one by one, caller after caller. And as you witness, the guy, he just called us, and he said, I will believe if you show me. And then we showed him. Very embarrassing. He said, I believe. And then after that, in two minutes, he tried to swallow it and tried to deny that he said that. The same as the other guy, the Moroccan guy, he said, that in the heaven you will have sex with your mother and your sister and your daughter and then he said I did not say that and then we got him busted by playing his recording this is what they do they are the same as their prophet and truthful false generation following the devil we are following the Messiah either we say yay yay or nay nay lies are not accepted Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.